Recently, some online publication claimed, alleged, that the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Good Luck Billy Jonathan, talked about Biafra and Niger Delta. And in the publication, it is attributed to him, allegedly, that he said that Niger Delta has nothing to do with Biafra Republic or Biafra agitation. Well, good luck, Billy Jonathan has revealed his own side, the truth about the statement credited to him on his position of Niger Delta over agitations for the Biafra Republic. Now, they claim that he spoke on the relationship between the Southeast and Niger Delta. The report said Jonathan spoke on the position of Delta agitation in a speech he was said to have presented recently in Texas, United States of America. However, reacting to the report in a statement on Saturday, Ikechuku Eze, the spokesperson for the former president, described the report as fake, adding that the said report was also published in 2017 to tarnish the image of Jonathan. I don't know why people are, you know, very foolish. Why people think that good luck Jonathan will want to be dragged into Biafra this, Biafra that. This is a man that did not even fight to retain his position as president. He would have stood his ground and Buhari would never have been able to come in. He would have tried all what he can, but he felt that he doesn't need all of this. As he, he doesn't need it. He just wants to get out of that seat and enjoy himself. He has stolen a lot. I, I, I have to tell you the truth. His wife has stolen a lot, just like the previous administration and head of state and anyone, any of those politicians. So he felt like, let me enjoy my money in peace rather than struggling and fighting for a position that um, I will eventually have to leave after a while. Let me leave that position so that I can move around the world, travel to the United States, travel everywhere, or wherever I want. And that's exactly what he did. So that being said, in his response to these allegations, he wrote, Our attention has been drawn to a fake story with the title, Why Niger Deltans Don't Want to Be Part of Biafra, currently circulating online, and purported to have been taken from a speech allegedly presented by former president Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, at an unnamed event in Texas, the United States of America. The story, which is being recycled in some online platforms, claimed that the former president allegedly spoke on the relationship between the people of the Niger Delta and Southeast states while addressing the broader issue of agitation for Biafra. We thought we had finally dealt with the issue of this falsehood with our timely and well publicized disclaimer. Soon, after the supposed speech first surfaced online in 2017, however, it is it's so astonishing that the same Jejun and the Sastros effort at speech writing, acted by some yet to be identified shady characters, is again being served to the social media public as a fresh dish. We want to clearly state, as we did in 2017, that there was no such event involving the former president and that. Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan will never present such a sloppy and hate-filled speech. Former President Goodluck Jonathan he is actually the one that you know, said all of this he, in response to people coming up with Jonathan stand against Biafra and the position of the Niger Deltans. Um, I've listened to Nabe Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a group that the regime of Major General Muhammadu Buhari retired, the president of Nigeria, popularly known as Jibril al Sudani, the impostor, the clone, the group that he proscribed. And from the speech that I heard from Nandekani, he even claimed that some groups of people in the southeast of Nigeria, um, Ohanes Indigo, and some other groups and some other people, with their leaders are actually the people that proscribed IPOB in conjunction with Buhari's regime. So it's not just an Awusa Fulani thing. He's talking about his own people too. And um, when you look at all of these 
and good luck jonathan here and there and stuff like that he spoke about the niger delta and he, he, he defined what a delta is a delta is just part of a smaller river a smaller section getting connected to a larger um, body of water and he, he spoke about this and that we know that niger delta is a region where you find lots of um, swamp you find lots of rivers waters and all of that that's a part where oil in Nigeria is also being drilled. And the Niger Deltans say we are Niger Deltans. That's the name that we want. And people asked, IPOB members asked, is that an indigenous name? And they claimed, leave it for us. That is the name that we want. We are Deltans. We are Niger Deltans. Delta is not an indigenous name. Let us be sincere. It is not an indigenous name. It is not even a name that you can actually find in the dictionary or in the vocabulary of the of the people situated in the south south of Nigeria. This is a strange name. It's like an Igbo man, Yoruba man, Ijo man, Ethic man bearing foreign names such as Joshua. Those are foreign names. Those are Hebrew names. If originally they said, oh brown skin people are from israel and all of that that's a different topic entirely but when you begin to answer andrew when you begin to bear um such names as um that you find in in other foreign countries um you that's not your indigenous name it's just a name that you have taken upon yourself that is the same way delta is delta is not although they joined it with ninja delta and they might say ninja has something to do with uh with, with, with them or stuff like that anyway back to the point the niger deltas have claimed that they want to have the na a nation of the of their own they claim that the biafrans are the egos who are the predominant they are the major tribe there are only interested in the oil that they have plentiful in their land and that they will not accept any of this they went back history lane and talked about during the civil war after the civil war that certain things started happening that he was wanted to dominate them wanted to oppress them and stuff and as a result of this they started having issues among themselves lack of trust they do not want to work with themselves several videos have shown we've seen online where deltans or people from even river state and many of them will say they would not want to embrace their fellow ethnic brothers egos that they are greedy they are this and a lot of things um we we hear and um, being played out here and there and i wonder why they cannot sit down and come together but it's so complex because even amongst the Igbo speakers Igbo speakers there are problems amongst them so people are interested you know there are vested interests some of them are only interested like oh and he's an Igbo and other mass up with IPOB having issue oh and he's a is now a group that has broken into two they are giving ultimatum to the in Wondo to to drop the his presidential position uh, as a, as a general a president general of Ohaneze and they are coming up with another man from Enugu you know a lot of issues here and there so when you look at all of this how then do you think that people that speak the same language that are supposed to share share common cultural practices how do you think they are going to cooperate with another man from Delta State or River State that might have selling um, you know cultures that might be a little maybe a little bit different from theirs or might not even speak in totality their own language so it's a complex issue that needs to be dealt with it's a complex issue so it is a question of biafra biafra can only be solved according to someone by the symptoms what exactly motivated biafra these are things that needs to be looked into. Now, I heard that history has been taken off from schools. I don't know why they did this, probably to make sure that people do not get angry. Uh, but I think people should be able to learn history properly. People should be able to learn history properly. Well, what is your take if you're from the Niger Delta region? Let us still use the word Niger Delta. If you are from the south south of Nigeria, what is your take about this? Do you think? that um, they should be allowed to come together as one Biafra or do you think that the Niger Delta should also be given the South South should also be given an opportunity for them to create their own nation if that is going to solve problem because there is no reason there is no need 
um, it's 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 counterproductive if people group of people ethnic group do not want to come together with the other people and you say no we are together we must stay together you know it's not going to work it's the same thing that the northerners are doing now they say we are one nigeria we have reasons to be together we must be together we are still brothers no if the south south claim that they want to have a state a country of themselves even though we know that a, a, a lot of things have happened that brought about division here and there, if they want to stand by themselves and stay by themselves, I don't think it's a crime anyway. They just need to be told and educated into knowing that there is nothing like that initially. Even the region, there wasn't anything like that. It was, it's a political division. People had their monarchs. People had their kingdoms and they traded together. That is how it has been. If they want to be United States, if they want to be United Kingdoms, then that's a different thing. So they can be the United Kingdom of whatever name that they might decide. If they want to keep up with the Biafra, United Kingdom of Biafra, or United Kingdom of something. You see, they can bring names out amongst them, so they can create a new one, United States of this, United Kingdom of this. So we will know that these are kingdoms that have decided to come together in agreement and they can sign a document. We are going to be together and it's a test. Let us just see how this will be. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be a test for the next 50 years. If it doesn't work, we have um, we, we can break. That's also something. Let them put that clause into it. <laughs>